Hey guys, welcome to day 22 of 25 Days of Christmas with TJ. So far we've been taking a look at um, most of my the items that came via Christmas presents in the past. We've gone all the way back to the 90s, some more recent. This item came in either 01 or 02. We're not 100% sure nor can remember. But the cool thing about this item is this engine kind of started me in a different direction and was things that I saw a lot growing up. And one particular instance about this particular engine is we went to, in 2003, we went to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina for the 100th anniversary of flight. My grandparents took me and it was an amazing thing to see. Got to see the remake of the Wright Flyer actually fly. Um, mini airplanes fly over, some really cool things like that. So definitely a, another side to things that I enjoy seeing was, was aircraft. Um, and it was a really cool trip and one of those things you'll, you'll never forget. I mean, how often do you get the chance to go to the 100th anniversary of flight? But on our way back, you go through a town called Hamlet. And for many people that are big into railroading would know that Hamlet is a large hub for the CSX Railroad today. And stopping back through, I actually got to see in real life the engine that I was given a year or two prior. And that engine is this CSX AC6000 601, the Spirit of Waycross. Now, Waycross is Georgia, but it was in... Uh, Hamlet when we saw it. There's some photos that we got to take of it. So it was really cool to have gotten the model, then go on this really once in a lifetime trip, and then on the way home see an engine that I actually have a model of. And this engine right here was the beginning for me of CSX. Now obviously you can see here behind you, I am a fan of CSX. Started out with Chessy and kind of blossomed into CSX. And the cool thing is I have a couple other engines. Uh, the Dash 8 was day one. That was my most recent CSX engine. And I have the SD40-2. And there's a few coming on pre-order next year. So the CSX fleet will grow. And But this will always be special to me because it was the very first. And, you know, again, it was part of a very once-in-a-lifetime trip. And I got to see them in real life. And I actually did get to see them in real life again probably three or four years later when we were in Cumberland, Maryland. And that was at the beginning when they were starting to, to de-horsepower them and do some things like that. They became 4,400s uh, horsepower, no longer 6,000 horsepower. So definitely a, uh, a really cool piece of history for me. Very sentimental, you know, tying into those trips. And what's also crazy is I now have a modern diesel that has a representation in a museum there's an ac6000 now in a museum so that is kind of cool too to see but we'll go ahead and get it running around the layout hope you guys are enjoying everything so far and we're, we're gearing up for christmas um again i really appreciate all the comments and likes and i really hope you guys are uh, enjoying these videos and christmas day again is going to be the the grand finale and i got a lot of cool things planned for that so i hope you guys are uh, enjoying it and we'll be able to check in to see that 